Sometimes called the Forgotten Holocaust, the Japanese takeover of Nanking is a little-known pre-World War II event that was a dark mark in world history. The Rape of Nanking by Iris Chang is dedicated to this horrific event. At the end of 1937, as Japan worked its way through parts of China as part of the Second Sino-Japanese War, they entered the gates of Nanking, the then capital, and commenced a murder, rape and torture campaign against the soldiers and civilians remaining there. Records vary on how many people were killed, with some figures being as high as 350,000 over a period of just two months. Chang's book is told in four parts, from the Japanese point of view, the Chinese experience, the work done by those who set up and ran the international safety zones, and the aftermath of the event. It's pretty tough going in places, and it's the type of book that belongs on the shelf next to Ordinary Men and Hellstorm, for its no-holds-barred, candid accounts of atrocities. Well, man, some of the things that the Japanese soldiers did are just unbelievable. I'll spare you the details here, but just do a Google image search for Japan Nanking, and you'll get the gist. Just don't do it if you're at work or have a weak stomach. It's not a very long book, and Chang reports on the details with no sign of bias. She's quite neutral in the way she covers the events. It's a sobering account of this horrible event, and for anyone with an interest in Asian history, it's a must-read.